Hey there YouTube, in today's episode I'm going to talk about how I went and changed the nozzle in my Ender 6 3D printer and some of the reasons as to why I did. The first step in my process was to warm the hot end of the printer to 200 degrees. <laughs> Once it was warm I was able to extract the filament that was previously loaded in the machine uh, and once that was done, I kept the hot end at 200 degrees and then proceeded to take the uh, fan shroud off of the printer with three tiny little bolts. Once the cooling shroud had been removed from the print head, I realized I needed it to allow the print the hot end to cool down as it still had a silicone base on the hot end. Once the hot end was cool, I removed the silicone cover over the hot end as it was safe to touch, and then I reheated it again uh, so that it was at the 200 degrees that the coupling could be easily disconnected between the hot end and the nozzle. I used two, two wrenches to unthread the old nozzle and once the old nozzle was removed from the printer I allowed the hot end to cool so that I could thread in the new nozzle without a risk of cross threading by using tools. Once I was sure that the hot end or the hot end and nozzle were connected well enough. I reheated the hot end to continue to use uh, two wrenches to tighten the nozzle down. Once I tightened the nozzle down, I uh, was able to allow the whole system to cool off, replace the silicone sock over the hot end, and re-thread in the screws holding on the fan shroud that covered the whole hot end. I then uh, ensured that the new nozzle was connected all properly, visually, and then I put in some new filament, extruded the filament, and kept extruding the filament until I no longer saw a white filament because I was changing the color to blue. <laughs> Once I did that, I proceeded to ensure that the bed was level and <clears throat> this is the first print that I did with the new uh, filament head put on. And as you can tell from a previous print that I did, I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up that well, but the one on the right is a previous print and the one on the left is the new print. Um, this print here, uh, the white one, has just slightly less detail and refined edges and as I said I don't know if the camera can pick it up than the new blueprint uh, but the thing that I didn't realize was that because of the change in uh, print head I needed to increase the amount of thickness to have the same kind of rigidity that you have that I have in this print here uh, as you can see when I tried to remove this from the printer it uh, destroyed the top of the print and left the top of the helmet on the print bed. The second print that I did uh, with the new print nozzle was this bearing. I'm very happy with the quality of print that came out of the bearing and uh, stay tuned to my next video. I'm gonna, I have a project planned for a couple of these bearings.